with a sky replacement first we're going to start off by typing in night today into the effects browser drag night and day onto the clip i like to turn the iMovie down it makes it a little bit darker it boosts the skins up and i turn the brightness up just a little bit so it's not too dark after that we're going to type in the kia into the menu and then we'll drag that onto the clip after that, you gotta make sure the key is on top of the nine today or it won't work. After that, I click on the sample color. I'm gonna drag it down just a little bit. Then I'll go into the spill levels, bring it all the way down to zero. I'm going to matte tools. I like to play with the road. Bring it up to about two. After that, you're gonna to wanna to bring in the fireworks. You're gonna have to crop and play with the keyframe in a little bit to get it right. After you're done masking, you're gonna copy and paste your clip and paste it right on top of each other. Then you're gonna go into that clip, you're gonna to wanna to delete the key effect. Then after that, we're gonna type in shape mask. We're gonna to wanna to square it all the way out, then drag it down and then boost up the feather. Get it to where it's like almost, you can still see black on top of the screen so it kind of blends in real nice and drag it back down so you see your fireworks. You're gonna wanna copy and paste one more time and then you wanna delete all the effects of it. And then we're gonna take the opacity, set a keyframe to 100, go a little couple frames up, set another keyframe, bring it all the way down to zero. Then after that, we're gonna take a adjustment layer, drag it a little out, place a custom LUTs on top of it. And you can adjust it however you want. I bring it normally down to about 50, somewhere in between 60 and 70. Then after that, you're gonna grab all your clips, turn it into a compound clip. Then that's your effect. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hurry up and get in.